Alright guys, uh, welcome to video 3. Uh, we were stuck on a couple of different things here. Uh, see where uh, the processes are. Okay, we're getting hit hard by this one that supposedly uh, got blocked because it was modifying a registry key, but as you can see it's doing whatever it's doing. So let's uh, hit those last couple of links here and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna do a uh, full system scan just like a normal person would when if they notice anything uh, out of the ordinary looks like uh, this one's uh, Komodo's not saying anything about this up oh, there it is it's, it's working away too so that one made it through and let's go with the last one here oh I got an error here somewhere sounded like an error at least I don't know let's move on alright see what this is okay it's trying to create a new file directory can I be recognized? It's trying to create. Well, let's see. Okay, because it's in red. Uh, and we're not sure if it's safe or not. We'll block it. It's trying to connect to the internet. Alright, oh, like, there you go. The heuristic analysis has detected possible malware behavior. So, we're definitely going to block this one. Alright. See if uh, I don't see anything other than those couple of ones right here. All right, so we're gonna do what normal people do. This is an old file. Oh, there you go. Might have a rootkit on there. Not sure. Let's see what happens. I see you can see Internet Explorer starting over and over again. So uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna run a scan. I'm gonna scan my computer gonna check for updates and it's going to scan so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when scanning is done see you in a few alright guys welcome back uh, as you can see the scan completed it found no threats but as we know there is stuff still hanging around in the background so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do what most people do they're gonna go to an alternative and they're gonna try to get rid of their infection. So let's go to Google here. Malware bytes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Well, it seems to actually let me in there, so that's good. So whatever I have is not that bad. Let's download it. I don't want to install it. All right. Okay, yes, I know. Let's run it here. Now, there has been malware known that can actually stop malware bytes from being installed. So, let's see what happens here. So it's a safe application, so that's no problem. We'll let it install. Though I will give Komodo something. It is very quiet in uh, its stock configuration. In my opinion, a little too quiet because you can see it lets some stuff sneak by. So that's not a good thing. As you can see, it keeps trying to open up Internet Explorer. All right, we got a fully updated malware bytes here. Let's see where we're at. Double check. Yep. And I'm gonna do a quick scan here. So, let's uh, watch it for a couple seconds, and then I'll pause the video, and I'll come back when the the scan is all. Oh, there you go. It already found a couple of infections. So I'm gonna pause the video and be back um, when it's all done. 
Alright guys, I'm back here. Uh, as you can see, it uh, s completed successfully. Found uh, seven objects. Let's uh, see what they are here. Alright, let's see. Found a couple Trojan bankers, a couple, uh, couple more Trojans, some stuff in uh, temporary files. So that's not that big of a deal. Found a uh, malware trace. So let's remove them. Don't want to continue. All right, you can see that uh, everything is gone now. So, uh, in my opinion, I'm gonna finish up this video quick right now. Uh, Komodo in its stock configuration. I'm sure that if you went to proactive security it would have caught all those and there wouldn't have been any problems. But in its stock configuration, like people are installing it, it still has some work to be done. As you can see the antivirus did not say a peep from anything. Uh, the cure sticks caught one thing uh, and the buffer overflow protection caught one thing. But other than that, uh, most of the stuff that I put to it it didn't do so hot. Um, let's see what happens if I close this window. Oh look, as you can see, Internet Explorer is not opening up again. So, well, what's the moral of this story is that as good as Komodo is, you have to go to proactive security to make it as good as it can be. And uh, there's also something to be said about uh, a layered security approach. As you can see, Malwarebytes is very good. So. I'll uh, let you guys go for tonight, and uh, soon I'll have a video up uh, testing uh, one more brand new Komodo product. Just came out a couple of days ago. It's still in beta, but we just I just want to see what it's like. So uh, see you guys later.